And right now, there's a lot of traffic, a traffic alert along I-4, several changes in place that you need to watch out for as part of the I-4 Ultimate Project, including some new ramps, and it can be confusing. New 6's Mark Lehman joins us now near the South Street exit where there's a new change in effect there. One of the biggest changes taking place is one that will remain in effect when the I-4 Ultimate Project is finally finished. Now, for several months, drivers have gotten used to two exits being combined here, South Street and the 408. Well, now that South Street exit is further down the road, which may cause confusion. With the ever-shifting landscape that is the I-4 Ultimate Project, drivers today are facing another handful of changes that could catch many off guard. A lot more headaches, and it's a lot more confusion getting off on exits, getting off on certain areas. The one with the most potential to cause confusion is the eastbound off-ramp at South Street. Last year, it was combined with the State Road 408 exit, which created some initial problems. This morning, South Street has its own off-ramp once again, but this permanent change is about a quarter mile further than what drivers have been used to. <laughs> it's like, come on now, like you're just making it harder. Staying in the same area, things may be a little more challenging for anyone getting on I-4. The eastbound on-ramp from Michigan Street has been closed, and a temporary entrance ramp from Cayley is now open. The on-ramp at OBT has also been moved. Project leaders saying the changes are in place to make room for new lanes on the interstate. I could see how the benefits might be lined out and that might be the intention, but that's not quite the reality right now, so we all just have to kind of be patient as it picks up the progress. And those temporary ramp changes will be in place for about a year. As for the South Street exit, transportation officials say the important thing for drivers to remember is to watch their speed and follow any posted signs about that exit change. For now, reporting in Orlando, Mark Lehman getting results, News 6.